All right, so how to build a book journal with me. Now, I am going to discuss how I made my very first extremely basic, simple, however you want to call it, book journal. Um, I just realized um, very recently as I'm um, getting more open with discussing the books I'm reading and book reviewing that people out there um, make book uh, journals, which I love the idea because it is perfect for someone like me who reads a lot of books, but I never have like a lot of time to actually sit down and review all my books. So I'm always discussing them, of course, with people in my life, but I never have the time to create my book review videos. So I thought this would be a good idea, like once I finish a book, to sit down and write everything down so that way when I have the time to create my book review video I can just refresh my mind on my thoughts of each book so um, the first thing I did was I went to Target got a cute little burnt yellow golden yellow book journal it has like a pleather cover so that way I was able to use my Cricut and create the cover that I wanted but Target and uh, there's a lot of cute journals out there so you can always just pick the one you want um, I recently just bought a ton of books from Amazon so these are the books that I wanted to review first because I am reading them quite fast with no time to re-record the videos so I took pictures of all the books that I um, am currently reading another thing that I did was I got on Pinterest which you know Pinterest has literally everything and I found these cute simple um, book journal printables I mean you're welcome if you're just already into book journaling to create your own headings and subheadings but I, I wanted printables to kind of give me a guideline on the kind of book journal I want to create so I mean some people could just cut these out and glue them right into the uh, pages uh, or take them into the pages of your journal um, again I printed them as kind of like a guide um, I will include the link to the ones that I printed because they were completely free and easy to download and print I even saved them to my laptop so if I'm going to continue using those it'll be easily accessible um, another thing that I did was I have so many stickers and scrapbook materials because I'm always journaling for my travel journals that I kind of just went through everything and picked out things that I thought I would use to kind of do each page because um, I'm a, I read so many different books so I didn't know if I wanted to keep like a theme or not a theme because even as myself I'm such an eclectic person. So I just kind of just grabbed some stuff out of um, that I thought would work with the kind of books that I tend to read lately. So that way I could just, as I'm you know creating my book journal, I could just grab it and tape it in, glue it in, just to start. Again, this is just the start of my book journal. I'll probably end up doing a video later just to show um, how it's coming along. But I got this journal with a lot of pages, and um, I put a simple design on the cover um first things first i left the i left the first couple pages blank because i do plan on making a table of contents for my book journal um i just don't know the format yet but um you know they say the table of contents is technically usually done last um so that's what i did there i ended up putting um, um, the first, uh, book that I, uh, finished as my first one, which is The Court of Bitterthorn. Um, all I did was I included the cover image there. I used one of the frames and kind of colored it a little bit. I might add some more stuff to it, but that I was satisfied with how it looked then. I cut out just the heading of one of the printables because I was like, I might end up writing a lot and I didn't want to be limited. So I left the behind page blank and then um, I put the little cute booklet uh, books to buy listing there um, followed by another book review I added more color and more um, you know taped in things they're not stickers they're like uh, cardstock cutouts um, from one of my scrapbooking kits but I did that I have not sat down and written anything which is why it's blank because I haven't finished that book yet and then the core of bitter thorn I'm currently reading I also decided, um, because I'm always adding books to read, so I cut the title and the subheading 
from that printable and just added some stickers, some washi tape, and some, you know, just colored some marker um, to give it a little bit of an eye-catching highlight. And then I left, like, I think uh, four or five pages blank behind it because, again... I am always looking for new books to read and to order. Like I'm, I, I, I'm always on the new, on the verge of buying more books. And then I added another book review because I thought it'd be good to kind of sandwich things in between. Um, my the next book after um, I read uh, the tales of something. I'm going to end up reading Cinderella's Dead because I've heard such great things about the book and I want to see for myself. Um, I added another blank page behind it. Um, and then the book wish list, I just cut the title for that one because, again, that's another thing that I'm always, you know, interested in is someone else buying my books for me. So um, I just put the same thing. I used one of my little uh, cardstock frames and stickers with some marker highlight just to have it pop a little bit. And then I left a bunch of blank pages again. I learned this from my travel journals. Um, whenever you're pre-doing your pages, you know yourself better than anyone. If you know certain portions are going to be full, then just leave like a generous amount of pages because at the end of the day it's not like you're gonna finish this journal in like two weeks or in two trips or in two per book reviews like this if you're if you're gonna actually get into book journaling then I would be generous <laughs> with the blank pages because you'd rather have blank pages that you can decorate and you know fill with your words than just oh no I ran out of space and then you're kind of squeezing them in um, I added a reading, I added the reading log because once I uh, looked at it and saw what it entailed, I rather have more extra space than limited space because that's what grinds my gears the most is having to try to write along the margins just to fill what I have to say or my opinion on uh, literature. It, it's just a bother. It's common, but it's a bother to me just because of how organized of a person I am. Um, so with the reading log, I was generous again with the amount of pages or well, blank pages. I do plan on going in and decorating um, maybe with some some squiggles or some type of like black pen designing. But again, I usually, you know, doodle a bit um, within, if, does that make sense? Within each book that I read. So if I'm reading something magical, supernatural, my doodles tend to um, go along with that. Another thing that I just cut up instead of just um, gluing right in was the favorite quotes. I love this page because every time I read a book, I do fall in love with a quote. And I hate highlighting in my book or marking a page or bending the pages of my book. I mean, I do it, worst case scenario, but I hate, I like to keep my books re looking really nice if possible. So to include a favorite quotes page was just perfect. Um, here's a closer look at the book journal of, the book journal page of the Court of Bitterthorn. Like I said, because this deals with fays and fantasy and swords, I'll probably end up drawing something to go along with that framed, um, this was a frame image of the, uh, book because I love drawing things myself. I just wanted to show the basic concepts of the pages so that way, you know, you can get going on making your own. Um, I thought this came out super cute because I love the colors that I picked. I love the cardstocks that I picked. And this books to buy page wasn't that bad. So that's why I just ended up trimming the trimming it down a little bit and um, taping it right into the book. But as you can see, I do have a blank page on the left just in case I run out of space here. But I also left blank pages behind this just so that way I have some room. Um, this book review, I just don't predict me having much to say about it because it is a series. Um, so I just glued this one right in with some cardstock, um, and the frame for the, um, cover. Again, this is just me predicting more than likely I'm going to end up run running out of room. But I was like, you know what, I'm going to just do one of them just to see. And I love the whole stars part. 
um because i wanted to dabble with that concept too again this is just a simple this is just a simple book journal just to get me started um but with it being so thick of pages i'm pretty sure i'm going to end up making a part two video further down the line but again this is a closer look of the reading log I, um like i said this journal came with a ribbon bookmarker which is what i absolutely adore so i don't have to worry about using my other bookmarks um I'll probably keep it on the reading long page and I included the um, little cute little antique clock there just because you know reading log makes sense to me um, here's a closer look at the books to read page um, as you can see I just use some washi tape some stickers crafters tape to um, you know get the get that in there um, it has book title author date started date ended so that way I can start keeping more um, exact uh how many books i'm finishing and when um here's a closer look at the book review page stickers my little polaroid oh another thing just like travel journaling and of course journaling there are so many um idea pages on pinterest if you are into like making everything by hand um i'll probably include um the link to some of the thread some of the threads i've seen in regards to book journaling this, like I said, I'm new to this, but this is apparently a thing. So I always say check it out for all you um, book nerds out there. I just, I absolutely love this concept. Here's a closer look at the book um, wish list page. Um, I use some stickers, like I said, a little framework. Um, I'll probably in there, I'll probably add some numerals, um, some Roman numerals, I mean. Um, I plan on doing just simple um, title and author and maybe I might add, 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 add a pricing, um, little prices to this. But again, I hope this, you know, kind of shows you and inspires you to create your own book journal. Again, this is purely just a basic, simple thing to get you going, to inspire, to just show you exactly what it is. I'm going to add some links below so that way, you know, you can see what I saw and maybe it'll inspire you to just you know, go for it and try something new. I think I'm going to like it. Um, once I get more done, I'll add a part two. And thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe.